Hi, I'm Rosanna from Moira Crochet and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you some details and information about my Crochet Monsteria blanket. So before we get started, I'm going to try and show you the blanket. Unfortunately, my husband's not here today, so I had to bring the camera closer. But I will try and get this in view for you. So this is my Monsteria crochet blanket. Now, this blanket is one of my favorite designs that I've ever made. And it was actually made for a crochet magazine. It was Happily Hooked Crochet, and I think it was in 2001, 2002. And I the spec was to design something with a foliage element. Now, with being in Brazil, we have a lot of tropical plants. And one of them which is very sought after all around the world by many plant owners is Monsteria deliciosa, otherwise known as the Swiss cheese plant. So I wanted to incorporate this iconic plant into a motif into a granny square which could be used as a basis to build a blanket. Now, um, so I created this design for the magazine and then I think six months later I then had the privileges to sell it on my own website. So today I'm going to be talking you through all the points about this design if you would like to crochet this blanket. Okay, I'm back with my notes, which I've forgotten to bring, so let's start. The materials I've used to make my blanket has been made from cotton. Because I'm in Brazil, it's hard to get other um, fibers. So, this blanket was made with circulose, let me see if I can get that in focus, circulose amigurami yarn. And I used a lot of this um, the exact amount was, for this pattern alone, for a lap blanket size, I used 1,200 meters in cream and then 450 meters in green. So I used two colors to make my blanket. So like I was saying, I've used a cotton yarn for my blanket because that is what is easily available to me in Brazil. And we use this as more of a late summer to autumn blanket or early spring blanket for my daughter. Because it has cotton, it's quite weighty, but it's also quite airy. So my daughter will use this first with a sheet and then with this on top. Now, for you, who may have much more yarn varieties available, you can use any yarn you like. As long as your gauge is within the limit, you can follow the same pattern to create all the different sizes of blanket. Um, I believe this pattern I think would be really, really nice in a wool yarn um, because this is very light DK weight. So I think once it, if it was made in wool, the yarn would start to bloom and you'd actually get more of a full monsteria motif which I think would be really nice and it's something I would like to try in the future so when I get back to the UK I'll try and get some nice deep green yarn and try this out as a sample in a animal fiber yarn to see how this works and how it contrasts to a um, heavier cotton summer yarn so the decisions are up to you with what yarn you want to use, on what style of blanket you would like it for, for what seasons. Also, you can use this motif and use it for other things. You could make it as a pot holder. You could add it to a pillow and make a, a crochet pillow, maybe a full motif with a little border. I think that would be really nice. So the design that the designs you create are up to you. I will just give you a basis on how to create this motif. So like most patterns, you get an idea on how to create, create the actual um, pattern and then you use your creativity and create whatever design you like. Now, the actual design is 
a single square is a single granny square design which I have made into a really simple design it's very open so it is quite holy <laughs> would it it does work really well for summer to autumn because it adds that, that layer of warmth so going back the crochet motif is worked as the leaf and then the granny square details is added along now this pattern is not a beginner pattern it is not you will need some crochet experience you will need to understand how to turn your work how to follow quite a detailed pattern but saying that I have created an extremely detailed photo tutorial to go with this and I will show you every single step on what you need to do to create your granny square motif now you will like I say you will need some crochet experience if you're a beginner this is not a pattern for you it is more advanced um, and for this pattern I have used a four millimeter crochet hook which I believe is a let me just check a G size in the US and these squares knit up very very quickly they are 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters and once you have your um, amount of granny squares you want to make it's up to you how you design for me I've done my pattern in a four motif as you can see all four leaves are pointed to the center and I've used that pattern repeated throughout now for your design you can do whatever you want. You can have them all going to one direction or going different. You can have alternate. It's up to you. Also within your design, you don't need to do the two colors as I have done. You could do a monsteria in lots of different colors. You could make it colorful. You could use a white and green variegated yarn to replicate the variegated type of monsteria deliciosa. Once you have the design, you can make your own pattern and move all the things around as you wish. Now, as I've said, this is a detailed pattern. And also within this pattern, I will give you measurements on how you can make this in four different, I think four or five, in five different sizes, which includes lap, throw, twin, Queen and King. Okay, so you will have the measurements for all of those. Now to finish off this blanket, I have just added a very, very simple border because I didn't want to take the attention away from the Monsteria leaves. So for this pattern, I've added just a simple double crochet border, a little highlight in the contrasting yarn, and then some simple single crochet along the ends. Now, if you wish, you can change the border. It's up to you, it's your design. And also, if you want, you can add some really nice heavy tassels on the end to give it some weight along your bed. This video has been informative and it's given you a lot of information about this pattern and if you have any questions don't forget to write them down below I will try my best to answer every single question I get and if you would be interested in buying this pattern I'd be forever grateful that you like my designs and I will put a link down below where you can order there is my own website for those of you who use Etsy and also on Ravelry. And I believe it's also still on Love, Love Crochet, which is now Love Crafts. 
So I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.